Welcome back. We're joined over the phone by Dr. Muhammad Talat, a professor of law. Good afternoon to you, sir. Good afternoon. Hi. Um, uh, as a legal expert, can you tell us a bit about the changes that took place uh, uh, in the U.S. when it came to uh, mail uh, votes? Um, they, they changed, uh, basically, uh, they tweaked it a little, where they allowed uh, signatures that could not necessarily matching the ones that were previously there in the 2016 signatures. Do you think that this... Uh, could legally affect the elections? It is possible, of course, uh, to, to affect it. Um, it is something that has not been tried recently, so mm. uh, it will delay the results, of course, and yes. it might affect the, uh, the, the final results, of course, yeah. Um, what about, uh, you know, in either case, whether the President Trump wins or Joe Biden wins, uh, do you think that there may be legal action taking place? Because because uh, the president I, announced that he's contesting. I uh, think that it will not uh, it will not uh, yes. it will finish only in court uh, unless the uh, the results are crystal clear, and it does not look that it will be crystal clear. So I believe that uh, either party or both of them will end up before the Supreme Court. Okay, so you think that, that there won't be a uh, dispute between both candidates? Uh, this is my personal inclination that there will be uh, there will be a dispute between them. And the uh, the final result will be determined by the Supreme Court of the United States. Okay, and um, can you tell us? Uh, I mean, this is not really related to law, but uh, do, do you think that personally think that uh, the the pandemic itself has affected uh, the electoral process? Uh, it has affected the entire process, of course. Uh, prior to the electoral process, uh, uh, the economy was doing well under uh, Trump, and then it got uh, affected negatively as a result of the pandemic, uh, mm -hmm. which has uh, had an adverse impact on his uh, chances. And now, uh, with respect to the voting, uh, it is affected, of course, by the pandemic, definitely. Uh, this is yes. something that uh, cannot be denied. Um, can, can you tell us how a candidate could win through popular vote but still lose through electoral vote? I, I know this hasn't happened a, a lot in history. I, I believe it's only one time that this happened. But can you explain it for the audience? Because the, uh, the way the elections work in the United States, that each state has a number mm -hmm. of points yes. uh, or representatives. So, and this would depend on the uh, population, it has mm -hmm. been, uh, depends on the population of each state. So it is conceivable that uh, one of the uh, candidates would get the popular vote, wins the popular vote, yet he would not have won the uh, states that have higher points or higher representatives. Yes. And accordingly, the number of the electoral uh, college Mm -hmm. would be less. Now, in order for a candidate to win, he has to get 270 uh, of the electoral college. Yes. So he could get the popular vote of the voters, but yes. he would not get the number of the representatives. So he would not win the, 27, the 270, yes. number 270 of the electoral college. Okay, unfortunately, sir, we ran out of time. So, Dr. Muhammad Talat, a professor of law, thank you so much for joining us over the phone.